The NBA Finals are here. Stack, do you get flashbacks to 2003 when this time of year comes around? Most definitely. Not everyone is built to shine under the bright lights. I think we'll have a good one this year. The intensity is at the highest in the NBA Finals. That's why DraftKings Sportsbook is upping the stakes. This week, new customers can bet just $5 on either team to win and get 150 in free bets instantly. Build your own same-game parlay on DraftKings Sportsbook. Combine player props, game spreads, and much more. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Be sure to also check out this week's All the Smoke Same Game Parlays. We're going to end the season hot. I can feel it. Head over to the app now and see who we're riding with this week. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code SMOKE. Bet just $5 on any pro basketball team and get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code SMOKE at DraftKings Sportsbook. So you transitioned um, into media. You're able to join TNT. Did you have any idea what you were getting yourself into? Somewhat. I never wanted to be in media, uh, but I just enjoyed it because uh, I love the game. I, I mean, if you come to my house tonight, it's going to be five of us sitting around. We're going to be talking about the game, mm -hmm. talking about whatever it is. That's what we did. So my brother always says, you know, he should get paid half my TNT contract because I use his stuff. You know, my, my cousin says that. We all do. We, we do group chats and, like, that's all we, that's mm -hmm. what we do. So, I, but I did notice, like, that most people couldn't in 30 seconds explain. That's important. What was going on. Mm -hmm. And not only explain it, but explain it to you guys who were at the highest level and also where my grandmother could understand. Right. I was like, oh, they can't do that. I just had that knack. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, if we're going to talk the talk, I think what makes me the best in the business is I see the peripheral. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see, like, when I walked in here, I could see the environment that's created, and I could feel the energy of what part of each team that you pull from. Mm -hmm. Just based off of, like, a five-minute walkthrough. It, I don't know. Uh, that's just a gift that God's given me. And, that, and it's just in life. Like, I can see that in life. But I can see, I'm like, oh, that person's important to this process. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, my, my man here said, like, two comma. He jumped in. He's the only one who jumped in, and neither one of y'all said anything. Mm -hmm. He's important to the process. Mm -hmm. When he was, he like, y'all allow him to former, speak. Former and be player, part. yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah. but mm -hmm. those are the things I know. Right. So when I'm, those are the things I bring to the show. I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, when this guy... Like, there was a player that had an unbelievable game. And um, great player. And I was like, I'm not sure if his teammates like him. <laughs> They're like, what do you mean? I was like, because I could tell by the reactions on the bench, what's authentic and what wasn't. Like, if I had 50, everybody on the right. team would going be going crazy. crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, like, or one of my teammates, I would know. I'm like, but a guy ain't really feeling getting 50. I'm like, yo, yo, man, I'm not, it's a different energy. Yeah. And those are the things that I notice, and I'm like, that's why they're gonna win, or that's why they won't win. Mm. And I think, you know, where Shaq and Charles, they come from the, I always say Charles is, um, he's a flashlight. And I know y'all have had some beef, mm -hmm. everybody, everybody has some beef with mm -hmm. you, but you could never have beef with Charles in this way, I would say, because he looks at life through a flashlight and not a floodlight. So if he says, if you look at life through a flashlight, he's like, man, everybody in here got on Jordans. No, I got on Jordans. He's got the flashlight. He's correct in it. But he's but when you put the floodlight on it, everybody, everybody else. Mm -hmm. So it's, but sometimes the flashlight is super accurate because he's pointing it directly at you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes he misses things. My job is always to bring the floodlight to the situation and go, nah, you're right. But it's but, not that mm -hmm. only, you know? So he has an accuracy point to it that will rub you the wrong way because or you would over love. I think he gets too much credit sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then I sometimes I think he gets too much the other way. Mm -hmm. but, he, but he's accurate all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's a flashlight. Mm -hmm.
you know. Well, I mean, I think that leads us into our next question. What makes you guys such a great team? Obviously, so many different insights and perspectives and points of views uh, with Ernie and Shaq and, and, and uh, Chuck, but what do you think makes you guys... We're the only show on television that listens. That listens. The only show. Yeah, like, everybody else has their written notes and they're going to... Like, I write shit down. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to write stuff down. I might, I'm going to get this point out. But if Jack says something that makes me go another direction, not even on that point, I'm gonna stay with that mm -hmm. because that's where the topic is. So we're listening instead of like, I gotta get this out about Kyrie tonight. A lot of people listen to respond instead of listen to understand, yeah. Like they are, you know, it's like, a, you, you've been in an argument mm -hmm. before where the person has already got their pre-record. You, you telling them, no, I really was there at six o'clock and, and they're like, they're waiting to get their point back out. Mm -hmm. No, I'm listening. Like, oh, you was there at six? Tell me how you were there at six. Mm. Like, explain it. Right. And we'll do it. that's the only thing that separates us when that to me. And that's a hard job to listen. Like, you can't just say, okay, today I'm gonna start listening. Mm -hmm. They just put three guys, four guys together that listen. We always didn't. And Shaq didn't listen at first. And and until he realized we were listening. It. And I told Shaq, we, he was terrible, honestly, his first. Six months on the show. You guys did some little piece. Um, what was it? We guys went behind the scenes of Inside. Yeah, yeah, like we last did like a year. documentary. Was, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I watched terrible. that. Yeah. Oh, he was terrible. <laughs> he was terrible. And um, two things happened that made him great. You know, I, I don't know. You know, I went to him first, and I was like, "Bro, the stories you say in the green room are bananas. Like the stuff you saying about Kobe, and like you got to bring that to the." He's like, "No, nah, they don't." I was like. Shaq, that's one. I said, the first, the other thing is like, this is the first time in your life you ain't the most dominant player. Mm. First time. Like, we might be better than you at this. So just be you and blah, blah, blah. And then the second thing happened. So, <laughs> so Shaq used to come in and be Shaq. Y'all know what Shaq is. I play him, yeah. Shaq play is a him. movie. Mm -hmm. Shaq's gonna walk around, he's got 10 people coming in. Mm -hmm. He created a hookah lounge. No, and the, <laughs> No, in the studio. And they made, let him do this. They were like, <laughs> he's like, I have to have my hookah. So he has a hookah lounge outside they make, and they put a TV outside the studio. We got a green room. Like, yo, man, Chuck in the green room. We've been we doing this for 15 years together. This dude going to come in. Y'all going to build a hookah lounge for him? <laughs> like, what the fuck what the, what's going on, yo? <laughs> like, what's going on? And then he's got entourage. He's got... He got uh, Jerome and them, all mm -hmm. Mark, they driving, everybody's driving, the one's driving the Rolls, one driving the Bentley, one, the Ferrari. It's like, it's just a movie. And me and Chuck is, not, Chuck for sure, and Chuck is very sensitive. He's like, he doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> like, I, like it. I'm like, I'm used to that in a way, like, I'm okay with dudes mm -hmm. who are stuff, but mm -hmm. Chuck is not having it. So now, he's not watching the game, he's deep, literally, DJ equipment. No, kid you not. He's, he's practicing his DJ while a game is going on. <laughs> they letting him get away with all that. So, <laughs> because he's Shaq. Because he's Shaq. So now he comes on the show and he's like, he says something like, yeah, and DeAndre Jordan need it. And DeAndre's not playing tonight. Mm. So me and Charles like, because we sit next to each other. He's hitting me and I'm hitting him. We're going to get his ass today. So we just lighten into him. Oh, and we just going, you don't know this. And so now we saying stuff about the game because we know he didn't watch. Mm -hmm. So then our producer comes downstairs and he's like, what the f is going on? Y'all giving him a hard time like that? You embarrassing him on our national team? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when don't we make fun of each other when you don't know right. the shit? Mm -hmm. Right. Because Matt sure going to do it. Anybody can get it. Oh, he, and it goes like this. And then the producer goes like this. You're right. I can go. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> and from that day on, he turned. He's like, I got to be on no point. No shit. He, he, he got on point. Yeah.